Did, did I punk myself? I think so. How much grease did you use to Nothing. fix this? No, the, the only the, only the pad that came with the with the heat with the heat sink. There we go. Oh, you pulled the chip out. I did. What the? What? Austin. Yeah. And Terry. Yes. Can you do me a favor? Absolutely. Yeah. Pick between the two of you and describe the issue that you had and what you were doing and why you were doing it. Why are we here? Um, I was building a new computer for this guy here and I plugged everything up, put the RAM sticks in where they were supposed to go, put the CPU in where it was supposed to go, put the heatsink on properly, and then I tried to start the computer and there was no output one part because I don't have graphics card two parts it, it just it didn't even run or like even like do like a whole cycle and what I'm thinking it is is that um, the motherboard doesn't have the right uh, drivers for the processor because mm, this is a B450 motherboard and typically they shipped with I think the last revision they shipped with was the BIOS for second gen Ryzen and this is a Ryzen 3 3600. Is it an X variant or no? No. Okay. No, it's not. It's fine. They're all overclockable. There's no real reason to get X versions. Uh, so the first thing that we have to do is we have made sure that the BIOS is actually incorrect. It won't post right now, uh, even with a GPU in the system, because Austin did try the onboard. Uh, did you use VGA or HDMI? Um. DVI with um, DVI. It doesn't. It doesn't have a DVI with an HDMI adapter. Okay, there's no shame <laughs> in that. This this monitor uses that exact same thing. Oh, convenient. Uh, so well, why do you use that? What your monitor is at home? I don't got one yet. I think that's a Ryzen five thirty six hundred, by the way. Ryzen just clar should clarify. Yeah, that, uh, that was my bad. So it's not Ryzen three. It's Ryzen five thirty six hundred. Okay. Uh, so with all of that out of the way, yeah. since we verified that the BIOS is in fact incorrect, the first thing that we need to do is Swap it out. So, uh, Austin, if you would like to help me with your screwdriver. Can oh, you have one? Yeah. Huh. yeah, I did. I got one. <clears throat> so, the thing to be really careful about with these AMD CPUs, as I'm sure you discovered putting it in, is that uh, they have pins on the bottom instead mm -hmm. of being like an Intel chip all nice and friendly with pads. Yeah. Uh, I'm still not sure which mounting mechanism I prefer, just because with pads, the damage can come to the motherboard. Is it not? It might not be yet. Oh, that's only one way to find out. Yeah. Um, with pads, the motherboard is what has to be replaced, which is typically cheaper, but it also takes a lot longer to do. Okay, it's out. It's just thermally gooped. Yeah, that's the pad for you. This will be shocking. Oh, that one might not be. Did I, punk, did, did I punk myself? I don't think so. How much grease did you use to Nothing. fix this? So the, the only the only the pad that came with the with the heat, with the heat sink. There we go. Oh, you pulled the chip out. I did. What the? What? I mean, nothing's damaged. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen that happen before. How did? Can I? That could be a go ahead. Uh, by, by like I said, start. like I said, nothing's damaged. Hold that up to the camera. Okay. I, I don't under I don't understand. This this shouldn't happen ever. And you used the the CPU grease that was on, on it, right? Yeah. Interesting. So can I can I just like pull this off? That is that is insane. Whack. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Look at how much that's. If you want to talk about. Poor thermal application, AMD. That's poor thermal application. <laughs> I want to. I want to wash my hands. Billion dollar company. Look at that. That's mind boggling. That's gooped. Hopefully things can be a little bit more normal from here on out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No shit. We can just place the new CPU right down in the socket. Yep. And this is where we find out if there's something wrong with the socket or something wrong with the CPU. Which, after like an aggressive rip like that, I wonder if there is something going on with the socket now. Yeah, because it kind of seemed like it just wasn't placing properly. Well, no, because it was really hard to get off. No, right, no, it was it was literally just stuck to the heatsink. So yeah. you, you pulled think... it out and added the tension or, or uh, retention arm too, which is like, mm -hmm. that shouldn't happen. I'm thinking just... that it was a problem with the CPU. 
Uh, now we gotta get. Oh shoot, Austin, can you go grab some paper towels? For yeah, but yeah, no, that was over the plan. I just want to know your your. So with the known good CPU in, because this is the one I was running for uh, like a year and a half, um, this should work. If there's anything wrong with the motherboard, this is what we'll find out. We're gonna reuse this heat sink, just because. I now know that I definitely want to clean off the uh, current thermal compound from my stock cooler. So let's clean this off. And apply, take notes AMD, we apply a small P of thermal compound to the CPU. That's it. All right, and now we just remount it with the same cross pattern. How's dinner, Hope? Good. It's Oprah brand for some reason. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oprah makes dinner? She does. It's called Oh It's Good or something like that. Oh, God. Uh, okay, now all we gotta do is power it on with the GPU in the system. That's an important step. Also. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to, forgot to put a GPU in. I just use the, the onboard stuff. Which, for the record, would have worked if this was an APU. But there is no onboard graphics of any kind on the 3600, 3500, 37, anything that's not um, like a G. If it has a G at the end of it and it's an AMD CPU, then it has graphics. If it doesn't have a G, it doesn't have graphics. So these ports will not work. And this will tell us two things. One, it will tell us if our BIOS really does need to be updated. Or the second is that it will tell us if our, C or if our motherboard is broken or not because that was a really weird um, experience we just had pulling the CPU out. I've never seen a retention mechanism fail to retain the board. Boom. So if nothing shows up here, that means it was a bad motherboard. Eh, VGA is active, there, there you, you go. go. All right, so we just need to update the BIOS for this, which is a relatively simple method. So, uh, Tomahawk, let's grab our updated BIOS. Okay, extract all, extract. There's still, there's still so much more. What are you trying to get on my finger? Boom. There we go. All right, and then inject. Okay, BIOS is on here. I'm just gonna, that's the USB-C port. Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. All right, no one unplug anything. It will die. It will permanently die. More permanently than this CPU might have died. <laughs> God, I'm still so baffled. Nothing, like, I'm no, not lying. Pins. No pin was damaged in any way. It was like a perfect, straight up kerchunk. I've never it's... seen a retention arm fail to retain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud. There's, I mean, if anything, the CPU's got a story to tell now. Sometimes I buy just refurbished processors. I try to get it into the worst condition possible, <laughs> take it out. There's a good story right there. <laughs> there. Hey, it's like proper boot device. Woo! You did it! We did it! I it's got the newest BIOS now. Now we'll replace the oh, processor. Now we'll replace the processor. This is where things might be trickier. Oh, it's here. I got you. Oh. Really? This is a garbage thing. Just stop, just stop, just, I got it. I got it, I got it. Okay, okay. All right. I got tiny fingers. This is, this is straight trash. Okay, yeah, no, you do it. <laughs> All right, now you'll see what it should look like when you pull a cooler off of a CPU. Okay. Well, hopefully. You never, you never know. Right. I have hopes. Okay. So now you can rotate it, really. And just pull it off. Uh, yeah, and that's then what it should, should look, look like. like. Yeah, that is what that is what a CPU should look like when you've properly applied thermal paste and you've removed it without damaging anything. If that CPU is damaged, if you hold on to this, cat. No. <laughs> Why until we just get like a refund and like send it back or whatever? Yeah, yeah. I don't. Okay. I don't see it being damaged. Like being that all the pins are like together, I don't know what like else could be wrong with it if that's the case. Mm -hmm. probably it's like There's probably nothing wrong. With right, it. right. Okay. So now we do the old swap a ring. 
see, and then you undo the retention now. Right on out. Oh, that was way simple. Yeah, it's crazy how that works. Once again, we carefully lower the system and move it to Just like that. Stock cooler. Overclock. <laughs> This also comes with extra cables if you want to put RGB cables in your system at some point. What can they say? They're not cutting any corners. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Uh, so, if you never put on... This is from the old school method. Where this is how FX processors were put on. You have to hook it on this side. Push down as hard as you can on the opposite latch. <sighs> there we go. That is the most extra heat sink I've ever seen in my entire life. I love it. That is insanely extra. Ah! Oh my. Look at it, it's beautiful. That's <laughs> so extra. Oh my god, I swear. I love this thing. And you can see, so the like three or four different blades that you see are just the frequency that it's spinning versus the frequency that the lights blink. Uh, and then... Oh! Uh, this is on, but it, we haven't seen anything yet. That just means it's getting... Hey! That's good, right? Change to the CPU. Press mm. F1 to run setup. Woo! F1! Yay! Hey! Now, real simple. Y'all can take care of this. Um, oh, I, have, yeah. I have always had, on my keychain... Yes, thank God. I have always had Windows installation media because this has come in handy so many times. <laughs> it really has. Okay, so after all of that troubleshooting and the strangest desocketing experience I've ever had with a CPU, with just a simple BIOS update, we had Terry up and running in, what, what is this? What is this game? Terraria. Terraria. We, up and running in Minecraft, just as soon as he got here. It only took, where's an actual clock? Two hours. <laughs> Two. Not, not a big deal. <laughs> but I think it was worth it to make a video about a really simple pitfall that new system builders might come into contact with. Older motherboards like this probably wound up sitting in warehouses without having their BIOS updated by anybody who cared. And for that reason, you're going to want to make sure you have the ability to update the BIOS when you buy a new CPU. AMD does offer a package that allows you to rent a CPU from them and have it done then. But for most people, I think buying a second-hand CPU or even waiting until 4th Gen Ryzen comes out, it's going to be pretty difficult to get your hands on one of those, especially with current events going on. So, just make sure that you have access to a 1st Gen Ryzen chip before you order one of those motherboards, or honing up the extra money to make sure you get one that's able to work with Ryzen out of the box. Otherwise, my Keep name is Jabberwocky, and thank you for watching.